First thing you're going to need to start your hammock is a clean work area. Next, you're going to need to find a piece of scrap wood you have left over from your glory hole costume from last Halloween. Now, go find a tape measure. Return with your level and broken yardstick. Realize you aren't sure how to make straight lines with a level on a flat surface. To optimize your total work area, set it up in the center of the board so that it is impossible to salvage any usable piece afterwards. Next, start marking out your nail holes in permanent marker. Shortly after doing so, regret the use of permanent marker as you immediately start making mistakes. Slowly learn throughout this process that you will run out of space as you do not know how to convert from metric in the original instructions. Now that you've finished marking all the holes, write out the measurements for nobody's benefit. Start tapping your nails into your board and also into your deck. Add 2x4 wooden spacers to prevent further deck damage. Discover your board is splintering on the other side and add another one. Casually think to yourself about how the nails you're using are 2 inches long and the 2x4s are actually only an inch and a half wide, so you are still hammering into your deck. But do nothing to stop this because what you can't see isn't happening. Lift the board to inspect your progress on the other side and also to dump your nails, which you totally meant to do. Hammer in your ball and bow line bow line nail off center enough so that it goes straight into your 2x4 spacer. Flip your board, making it impossible for your off center nail to be anywhere in the right place, no matter which way you turn it. Scissors, light a rope. Make a simple bow line knob, making a loop going through around the back strand and through the loop again. There is the bow line knob. Eloquently explain that you need two hitching rings from the hardware store. It's like a key holder, like a key ring, but it doesn't have the thing you can slide keys onto. Concede to your frustration that it's going to be too hard to repeatedly untangle 300 feet of cord, let alone tie it into roughly 300 metric butt tons of knots. To keep the end of your rope from fraying, use a lighter on it. Preferably one with fuel. If your cord continues to slip off the nails, which it will, Use a large, tangle-enabling object with little to no mass to help you secure your loops in place. The majority of making your hammock will consist of tying flat knots called sheet bends. That's sheet like a redneck's formal wardrobe, not sheep like a Welshman's girlfriend. Simply come up through your loop, front end flips so you would go back around and back through where you came in from the start and there it is sheet bend. Should you ever start to gain confidence in your ability to do repetitive knot weaving despite constantly stabbing your fingers on nails and combating the perpetually self-tangling cord, you can take solace in the fact that you can always make yourself feel like a dummy by forgetting mid-knot which 50-foot cord will tighten the knot and which 50-foot cord undoes it. Alright Bill, once you go there and back again, you've completed one mesh. Like any legal-eyed American can tell you, she'll need about 16 of them to be fair use in 30 states. Thanks to Metric for being so complicated, you will undoubtedly run out of court at some point. Go ahead and order more from INTERNET STORE and treat yourself to the arrive by the time I get to the front door shipping. To join sets of cord together, do a simple fisherman's knot, which is one cord around the other through the loop and do again on the other side and then pull tight and there it is, fisherman's knot. A knot useful for joining everything together except anything that is fishing related. Cut 20 strands of cord, that'll be 10 for each side, that are about 7 or 10 whatever forearms-ish is in length. Once your primary color choice runs out again, stupid metric, use whatever fancy colors you have left in Standard procedure, wait for a nice stiff breeze to try and burn your ends in order to maximize your minimal success. Gather your tangled mess and start attaching strands via cow hitch, which is just a loopy loop around the loop and through to a pull tight where it is cow hitch. Use two mesh loops per hitch for a total of 11 hitches. Like, 11? Hold on. Each mesh loop per hitch should be two on the sides and three on the rest with two strands on each middle three group. Join each individual strand, that'll be two per hitch 
to your Cadillac key ring with a simple butt line, which is of course just around the jigger, then around you, around you through itself, pull it nice and good, and there it is, butt line. You'll need to do 40 of those, 20 per side, and try to keep your candle like a key ring in the same XYZ space relative to your hammock so all the lines remain taut. Make sure to tie your bunts in the same order you have them all laid out or else it won't look all pretty. Also you'll need to make sure your candle like key rings are plenty small so that you couldn't fit all the necessary knots on it no matter how hard you try. Having demonstrated my complete mastery of knots, I opted to use ratcheting straps to secure my hammock to flimsy trees. Success? Time to go crack open a cold wand. Enjoy your hammock, just in time for mosquito season.